Hi. This is how I work out and stay fit. I'm done. <laughs> yes. Workout buddy. Cheers. That was a joke. Hi guys, for the past three to four months now, I have been on my grind. After I graduated high school and I realized I was not getting any younger and that I couldn't just eat a whole bag of chips and expect a six pack, everything kind of clicked. No, but seriously, now that I'm 19, I want to be in my prime, look my best, most importantly, feel my best and set myself up for a healthy future. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me for a few days in my life, showing you some of my workouts, some of my favorite foods. It's gonna be fun. So let's get started. Quick rewind to last night, I went to the gym. Right now it is 8.03. I like to either work out early in the morning or later at night. I got on my outfit. The top and bottom are both from Fabletics. I like to drink water before I go, but not too much water because I don't want to have to pee when I'm working out. At the gym, I've been doing Cali Fuller Fits exercise program. The reason I didn't like the gym as much before was because I didn't exactly know what I was doing. I'll have her Instagram right here so you can check it out. Workout buddy. I used to go to the gym almost every single day, but then I found workout classes that I really liked. But last night what I did was stairs. I do that on level eight for about 10 to 12 minutes. I usually do stairs for like 10 to 12 minutes. It's hidden extra hard today. <laughs> After that, I went on the treadmill. Basically, I put the height or the slope up to 10, sometimes 12. So it's a super steep incline and then I'll put the speed on around three to 3.3. So it's a good walking pace. It also gets my heart rate up, makes me sweat. My favorite thing to do is sweat. It just feels so good. I also did arms and legs, but I was way too embarrassed to film. So I literally, oh. I can't even hear myself talk when I have these in. Right now I'm in the ab room. This is where they hold their yoga classes and stuff. I wanted to show you guys how I work out my arms and my legs, but if you think I'm gonna do that in front of a whole crowd, you are wrong. Anyways, I'm kind of out of breath. I did some legs, some arms. I got muscle. And also I kind of have abs now. <laughs> Kind of. I'm gonna show you guys the ab workout that I used to always do before I started Callie's workout routine. Core is one of the most important things to do because it's the center of everything. So having a strong core is really good. I switch up my ab workouts a lot. Sometimes my sister will help me with new ab workouts because she's a professional. Sometimes I'll look on YouTube videos. So yeah, these are some of my favorite ab workouts. This is what I used to do before I followed any program or I was following YouTube videos. This is just kind of the ab workout that I kind of created for myself and that I really like. I'm not gonna try and explain what I'm doing, so you can just watch, but I'll do these ab workouts for 30 seconds each. I'll have a 20 second rest in between or something like that. And I'll repeat it two to three times, depending on how I'm feeling. Ah, paparazzi. <laughs> um, one of the tips or one of the things that yoga teachers say to do when we do these crunches is instead of crunching like forward, crunch up towards the ceiling and you get a better workout. I'm done. <laughs> you look good though today. Oh, thank you. I go to the gym once or twice a week and then I do cycling two to three times a week and yoga two times a week. We're filming no, a school project. As I was saying, that's kind of what I've been doing at the gym. I don't go to the gym as often as I used to because I found other interests with working out. It's all about finding what makes you excited to work out because yoga and cycling makes me so excited and also having a workout partner because I feel like if I wasn't going to the gym with you, I would have no motivation to go. So you kind of forced me. Find a workout partner, woo! So anyways, that was a little sneak peek into what I do at the gym. Let's rewind again and go back to this morning. Good morning guys. So usually as soon as I wake up, I'll finish whatever water I didn't finish last night. I'm not going to any workout class this morning because I have a meeting in like 20 minutes over the phone so I can't go to a class obviously. 
Before I make breakfast or eat anything, I try to drink a full glass or big cup. This thing is freaking huge. I put too much lemon. I think lemon water is fun. I don't know how true it is about all the benefits and stuff, but I like it and I think it helps. So during the night you go seven to eight to 10 hours, however long you sleep without water. So your body's dehydrated. That's one of the biggest changes I've made is drinking a crap ton of water. For breakfast, I'm gonna heat up these little loaves of bread. They were fresh. It's just been sitting in the freezer so that it doesn't get moldy and stuff because it is so fresh. We're gonna pop that in the oven. We've got a fruit, we've got carbs. I normally would eat protein with it too, but I'm just kind of lazy right now. But protein is what keeps you full. So keep that in mind. If you ever find yourself getting super hungry after you just ate, that's probably why. Also, this is not a what I eat in a day. I kind of eat bread every day, but. I'm gonna quickly get ready for my day. The call got pushed back till two, so I have a little bit of time to do the stuff that I need to do. I'm taking my gummies, by the way. But anyways, I just wanted to say that the second you stop comparing yourself to someone else, you're gonna be so much happier. Some people are naturally skinny, some people aren't. Personally, I'm never gonna be super thin or wear a size small, and I'm never gonna wear a size 26. We're all built super differently. My sister has a much smaller frame than I do. We're all made differently, and it took me a long time to become confident in my body because of how social media praises people who have the perfect body when there literally is no perfect body. Even the people that you think have a perfect body have their own insecurities. Everyone is going through stuff, guys. I just wanna say you're beautiful and don't let social media beauty standards ruin how you view yourself. Don't shame smaller people, don't shame bigger people. Yeah, we're all on our own journeys, so just support each other, lift each other up. Makeup time. Makeup is, does anyone have their like favorite side? My favorite side is my left side. I always am facing it more this way than I am this way. I feel like I look so different. Oh my God. I don't like how I look on the, please tell me I'm not alone with that. Anyways, right now I'm just gonna get changed, do whatever, do the errands that I have to do. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna make a smoothie. All right, it is about 12.45 now. So around lunchtime, I did my errands. I went and got coffee. Secured the large because I'm treating myself. Yes. Yes, and you know what? I'm still living at home, saving my money, so if I wanna spend money on an iced coffee, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And now we're back here and I'm gonna make a smoothie. I don't know what kind I want yet. I don't even know what ingredients I have. Um, I have no ingredients. I think I'm just gonna make a plain old peanut butter and banana smoothie. This is organic Laura Shutters smooth peanut butter because we only do smooth peanut butter here. Two bananas, I actually, Hold on. I wanted to try these powders out. They're the Moon Juice Herbal Supplements. I forget who I heard talking about this, but I was really intrigued, so I got it. Better be good because this was expensive. We've got a variety of dust to choose from. Dream dust, spirit dust, power dust, brain dust, and beauty dust. I actually think I'm gonna go with the spirit dust. This one says target stress, relief, of tension, and irritability, just what I need. Um, this one says it's sweet and nutty. So since I'm using peanut butter, I figured this one would taste best. Let's make the smoothie. Cheers. This tastes super good. This is a pretty healthy smoothie. It kind of depends what mood I'm in. This one tastes like a dessert and I like it even though it's still healthy. Sometimes in the morning I'll do like a fruit smoothie with you know mangoes and pineapples and strawberries and stuff and have it be more fruity and stuff. And on the rare event that I do a green juice, I would put spinach in it and stuff. But if we're gonna be honest, I don't really like greens. Usually when I put spinach in my smoothies, you can't even taste it. So it's a good way to sneak it in there. It's only about one and I think I'm going to yoga with my dad tonight at around 6.30 or seven. So we'll probably have a light meal before then. Usually my mom will just make us some eggs, maybe some soybeans to hold us over or something. Cheers, I will see you tonight for yoga.
Good morning. It's the next day. It's the last day that I'm filming this video, but right now it's 7.54. It's 64 degrees. I woke up so cold and I literally have my seat warmers on right now, which I know is really dramatic. See you at cycling. Just finished the class. It was really good. I sweat a lot. I'm so out of breath. I feel like I'm gonna die, but in the best way. So I think I'm gonna go across to a smoothie store and get a smoothie. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Honestly, my goal with any of these videos is to help you guys, inspire you guys. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Just know that we're all at different points in our journey. We all go through similar things with, you know, not being motivated and just feeling like you're not good enough. Where you are right now is where you're meant to be. So trust the process. <laughs> Don't forget to treat your body and mind with respect and love because it is your home. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.